What up, what up, what it, what up, what it, what up, what it, huh? Drama House 8 Game Entertainment 216 The Movement We Move With You Dig. <laughs> What's good, peoples? Ah. Chilling, man. Just chilling, relaxing, you understand me? We got some movies dropping. You understand me? My new name, Dark Man Films, you understand me? I got three new joints about to drop. Uh I got the uh day to day. That's what we working on the web series right there. Then we got uh, on the four block boys, you understand me? That's about to um start working on that. We already working on day to day, and then we on the porch, the script being written right now, you understand me? By yours truly. So, what's good? Nothing too much, man. Just chilling. Just, you know what I'm saying, trying to put shit together, man. Trying to take you to the next level, you understand me? Um I've been watching this motherfucking uh uh easy verse uh Gotti shit and how the internet just been going wild with that shit. I'm like, damn. It seems like niggas really hating on Easy though. Niggas sick that Easy by the smack Remy. That's what it seemed like to me. You know, I like to talk on the other side. So it's like, you know, it looked like niggas salty about that. Cause even in the uh, battle, the nigga Gotti was like, should have fucked with me. I wouldn't have said nothing. You understand me? Niggas is salty. Like, niggas is saying, I know you ain't gay this nigga no pussy. Like, what type of niggas do that type of shit, though? Like, like you supposed to big that man up? Like, damn. You feel me? Niggas is flat the fuck out hating. Like, Remy a bad bitch. Like, Remy cool, but she ain't cold. <laughs> she ain't cold. She ain't Amber Rose cold. But I'm just saying, though, like, I get it. But, like, niggas is really hating on Easy, man. And we all know the truth. They hating on him, and Like, I was just listening to all the hype and shit. They got DJ Akin, um, Demix and Tasha K and all these motherfuckers trying to jump in the battle rap just looking for a story. And these niggas letting them in like they always do. Battle rap gonna always be corny in a way because it's always cornball corn uh, media. They just be having the most corniest media, man. Like, ain't nobody like to stand. It's like, it's all cornballs. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't really no real niggas in there to be like, yeah, no, we ain't having that. We ain't doing that. Nah, they all like get together, man. If you look at that lineup, it's a bunch of cornballs, man. If you really just look at the lineup, man, I ain't hating. It's the real shit. Niggas is cornballs, man. You feel me? Niggas is fucking cornballs, and that's how they carry that shit. And, like, they all jump on board with each other. Like, when somebody new jump in that bitch, they all jump on board to try to make sure that nobody lose their spot. They all attack that one motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's why when I used to come in, when I used to play the game like that, I attack everybody, you understand me? Because I knew that niggas was cornballs, and I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do in this bitch like I do wherever else I go. Bullies, whoever, I'm doing whatever the fuck I want to do because I know these niggas can't talk it like I talk it. And they damn sure can't walk it like I walk it. You understand me? I'm, I'm affiliated. So back to this battle, though. All that hype and shit. I'm like, oh, shit. So easy, finally uh, lost. I say this the nigga to lose to, though. I was worried about that because, you know, that nigga Gotti be exposed and shit. Gotti be on that shit. He got that conviction. You know what I'm saying? He got that crip look. He got the baby face. People like that nigga. He funny. He not a talk. You understand me? So this is the nigga that you supposed to lose to is Gotti. You understand me? Because he's like that nigga also. But, you know, he been taking a few hits right here and there, but that don't really mean that he has so many fights that so when he do get hit a couple of times, it don't really mean nothing. But that's what the motherfuckers going the narrative's gonna be pushed on him like, yeah, get you got he falling off. Cause they need to get back in position. That's all these niggas do is set narratives. Every time it's like the lame niggas sticking together. Every time that's what it seemed like to me. And everywhere you go it's like that. All the lame stick together because they know they could be wiped out so easily. So they they form Voltron. It'd be a weak-ass, whack-ass Voltron, but it'd be Voltron. You understand me? It'd be like the, the Power Rangers. You know, we was the Transformers and Voltron and Thundercats. These niggas was like the Power Rangers and shit like that. Like, shit, we wouldn't even watch. But, yeah, but, um, so I'm seeing everybody talking about it. They like, they like the crowd yelling 3-0, you know, um... They talking about Easy was up there talking all through the man rounds. They ain't never seen Easy look this uncomfortable. It was just like everything Easy said really didn't count because then nobody wanted to hear him expose um, Gotti. But 
Okay, I said, okay, so let me just check it out. Then I heard about that third that third round. They was just talking crazy. Like, this was the greatest round ever. You feel me? He took that shit from Verb and, and mixed it up. And, like, it was like, oh, I heard Joe Buttons talking about, yeah, the second round is really what took Easy out the park. So I'm like, damn, he did Easy like that? I said, I got to see this shit. So, boom, I was watching some shit. And they like, oh, they didn't throw it out. So I go check that bitch. I'm like, oh, let me see what's up. I said, I like the way that scene look. You understand me? So, easy go. I'm listening. I'm like, that's the block captain right there. That's that's the block captain. And see what the block captain is. I like the way the block captain put his shit together. I like how the block captain don't be just cussing, 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 and then hit you with a punt, a, a haymaker. Or, like, his shit be like, he talked to you up until wherever he getting to. And I'm saying, he, when he hit, it hit. You understand me? A lot of niggas don't get the lingo, though. So they be like, we lost. But I get the lingo, and a other, lot of other niggas get the lingo. So you be like, oh, he be talking that shit. He be talking that shit. And then when he hit him with the... I ain't know he had hit him with the Remy bar. The um, the bar with, um, if I didn't kill a nigga... And I, cause I still got the girl. That shit was like right there. That 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 was round one. There was nothing that could be said in that round to like that was round one. Like like they were saying that was Geechee's round three. That on round three, it was nothing he could do. There was nothing he could say behind that. It was not even though I felt like when I watched Gotti verse, he was going too. I was like, yeah, Gotti, you feel me? In the beginning, I was like, okay, Gotti. But in the, towards the middle and the end, I'm like, yeah, Gotti. Got he in his bag, but I still got to edge it to motherfucking Easy because I felt like Easy was in more pockets and Easy said shit that shook the room, that shook the net. Easy said shit that shook the net. That right there, like man, that that right there was like nasty. That was nasty. You understand me? Like that was like, psh, come on, man. That was like powerful. That was powerful, cause I still got the girl. Like nigga, this shit didn't even really rhyme. Nigga, he just let him know, nigga, this is what it is. You understand me? And his, you know, this little she behind him, like yeah, talk to him, daddy. <laughs> yeah, you understand me? Rim had this, you know, Rim got the horse face for real, so Rim shit don't even move. You just be trying to get a reaction out of Rim face, just be standing there like strong looking to it, makeup on it. But she's still a nice looking girl. But um, so check it out. So Gotti going, I'm listening to Gotti. I'm like, yeah, Gotti, you feel me? It's like the drug dealer versus the gang banker. But they both can do each other. Like they both can do what each other do. You feel me? And they was that shit was the only thing that the internet did get right. That that was a war. Like that was a war. That was like somebody could like niggas should have been like maybe fighting in an audience type battle. That's how like that battle was like. Oh, these niggas got the gloves off, honey on their hands, and their hands dipped in glass. These niggas, oh, these niggas is fighting. These niggas want to win, and these niggas is getting to it. You feel me? That was a like a tough, that was a tough, that shit was so tough, it was hard to really watch. You feel me? Like, man, that shit, that shit tough. These niggas ain't playing. You understand me? So, okay. I edge that the easy. So when niggas was talking about that 3 0, but I did hear niggas say about that that first round. And Remy said ain't nobody get bodied that night. You understand me? So I knew the, the easy ain't just get bodied. I just knew that didn't happen. He talked too different. So second round come around. This is when I thought about Joe Buttons and them. Pause. So I'm like, he said this is the round that really got easy to fuck up out of here. I said, okay. Let me hear what's going on because they saying it's the round where Easy was trying to expose them and nobody wanted to hear that shit and all this shit. So I'm like, when you hear that type of shit, sometimes that shit can fuck with your mind and make you not really pay attention or really want to hear that shit. Like, so you gotta watch listening to these niggas, man, because these niggas ain't right. These niggas all the way fucked up. So boom, I almost got caught up in that shit. So I started listening to the round. I'm like, okay, block captain. That's what the black captain do. And when he putting it together, it's nice form. It's like a real drug dealer put together when he put shit together. Like, it ain't like, like niggas can talk all that Philly shit. Like, that's that's how I be looking like niggas be losing. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. Like, after I heard that, um, 
that second round, and I was looking at Gotti. Gotti was trying to play it off, but nigga, he was he was over there hurt, nigga. He was over there hurt. Them niggas both was throwing body shots and shit that was hurting each other. Both of them niggas was dazed. Like a nigga got caught, nigga got, like a nigga was going at a nigga, and a nigga got caught with a haymaker, like boom, and dazed his ass. After he was just beating up on the other nigga. That was that type of fight. Niggas was just getting hit with shit. Boom, you feel me? So, I seen that nigga. Look, look, you don't really see the shit when the nigga getting hit. You see the shit when the nigga start hitting back. That's when you see the pain that he absorbed from the motherfucking um that 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 second round because when 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 motherfucking Gotti went in that second round. Mm mm. Uh uh. Joe Buttons, boy, you start you start watching battle rap more. Because you don't know what the fuck you talking about. And anybody else, I don't know, maybe I was just too high. But after I heard that nigga easy second round and he was exposing that nigga father and all that shit, which other niggas is going to pick up behind and do that shit to Gotti too? You feel me? Gotti was feeling that shit. So when Gotti go on the second round, I'm like, oh, this must going to be some magic type shit. Gotti came out with a rebuttal. I guess that was a bringing his mans out who, who 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 went down with him for the statement, but Easy had already just said that and pointed to him right there with him. So like that shit didn't hit. Then the shit he said behind it didn't hit. Then it was choppy. Like the first damn near minute, whole minute of that shit was trash ass. So I'm like, where the fuck is the second round of shit coming in that? During the mid towards the end, middle to the end. And I think he was rapping longer. He started picking up pace and, and, and hitting with some good shit. But the shit that he be saying before the shit hit, like all that cussing, like like the shit he was saying, I hear that shit. He, he do that shit to everybody. It's like, like you feel like it don't really be put together really all like that. But when he hits you with it, it'd be a fucking bomb. But it'd be the same shit reverse he did the easy e shit like it kept coming back around and shit like it was like freestyle or some shit mixed in or whatever even in the third i believe he did that easy e shit again like it was just like i heard like this is easy to for Gotti to rap like this but when i hear and i hear this type of words all the time from different rappers and Gotti but when i hear easy rap I don't hear other niggas putting their shit together or just using his words. Like I don't hear the same. I don't hear Easy saying the same type of words every fucking battle. That's what I'm really trying to say. Like Gotti, you're gonna get the same words, like, like, and cussing and the way structure. The only thing that really holds Gotti together is how he, the charisma he got, his conviction. He talked to the crowd. And he entertaining. But really, he be lightweight garbage sometimes. You feel me? He lightweight be garbage sometimes. But he know how to manipulate and control you with that shit. You was a bitch. You feel me? You just said that like a, 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 like a bar before a bitch shit. And it's like, you was a bitch. Like, because he know you can get the crowd to do it with him. You understand me? It was just like weird, though. It was weird, though. But it was a fight, though. Gotti was fighting though, but I just felt like if you listen to that first minute of that motherfucking damn near minute or minute of that second round, that shit was choppy and ass. The rebuttal didn't hit. Easy had just said that shit. The shit he said after didn't hit. Then it was choppy all up in there. All up in there. And then he started getting in his bag. He need to get the crowd on his side, seem like, for him to get in his bag. That's why he always turn to the crowd and be doing all this and be looking at like, yeah, nigga, let him block grip, nigga, all that type of shit. Because he be feeling some kind of way. You understand me? He damn sure was feeling some kind of way about that second round. That's why he started saying, nigga, we're going to talk about your baby mama. And this was already late in the second round of his, where he like, really, to end that shit, but he was... He felt he got the crowd back on his side. So then he started just kept going or whatever. But I still felt like I gave Easy the first 
and I damn sure gave Easy the second. And I'm not no big Easy fan. I'm not none of these niggas fans. Surf gone, nigga. You feel me? I fuck with Surf, Head Ice, nigga. Dot, nigga. That's my niggas. You feel me? I fuck with Prep, nigga. That's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I don't care what about him, what he done with niggas. Then niggas, everybody do some shit. You feel me? I fuck with Rex. You understand me? I fuck with niggas like them type of niggas, man. You know, you know, beloved and Mook, them my niggas, but um, Shotgun Shug, my dog. You understand me? Like them type of niggas, but at the end of the day, man, um, we get to that third, uh, we get to that third. Easy back barking on him. Easy had a nice, good, solid third round. It was pretty good. So I'm saying, I didn't even, I was listening just because somebody said that he was fighting in the third. So that's what really made me pay attention to it again. So when I'm listening, I'm like, okay, easy. I'm like, yeah, 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 okay, easy. But I know he don't win this round. Feel me? Just because from just how everybody talking, I know he don't win this round, no matter what I say. You know, I, so, round over with, you know, Gotti talking his shit to the crowd in his ear. Gotti setting the stage. That's what Gotti doing. He's setting the stage. So, boom, he go. It was pretty cool. It was it was pretty cool. And like I'm talking about what he was saying. Like it wasn't like he just did that one little segment and that's what blew it up. No, he was he was he was talking all through the the third. It was it was it was fire. He was continuing from the end of his second. So once he got to that uh a verb shit, did he? I love the way when he was like, oh, we not, oh, you don't get off so easy or whatever. What he said, like, you don't, you ain't about to get off like that. That's what really, I think that's what really made this shit really hit. Because niggas always the ones with their back against the wall with about the bitches and all that. But this time a nigga put a bitch back on the wall. That's a top bitch. Like, yeah, bitch, listen to this. Like, yeah, you try to play. You feel me? That's what really made it hit. That. Niggas finally got their turn to put a bitch on the wall for doing dirty. It's always the nigga getting put on the on the wall. So he stood up for niggas though. So it's like no matter what a nigga say, you ain't gonna better take this victory away from Gotti because of what he did. He put a bitch back on the wall that that supposed to be the like the poster child for black love and all that. And we seen Poos, you know. Representing this girl while she was locked up. Now we don't know what Pat might have did. We don't know if this shit true or not. But just from the narrative they done put out in the bullshit, which we have no clue if it's true or not, they could have been broke up and we ain't no shit about it. You feel me? And then she decided to step out with the captain. You understand me? They ain't like the captain ain't doing things out here. A lot of you niggas that's hating on the captain, he doing way bigger than y'all. He came in the rap game and lightweight stood up in that bitch. You feel me? Went against the machine, been on TV, dropped the hot shit that made niggas come out to see him. You feel me? That that shit, that top tier shit. You feel me? He even made the God come out and drop some shit. He had, he like he woke battle wrap up. But now niggas is hating. He hit the oh he did what? Oh hell no, he hit Remy. Get the fuck out of here. Niggas acting like it's all about Pap. Knowing damn well they just wanted to hit Remy. That's what it was about, because that's why God, he said, you should have fucked with me. I wouldn't have said nothing. That right there lets you know that it was nothing about no motherfucking papoos. Now these niggas give a fuck about no papoos. They wanted to hit Remy. They mad. Like, how come he going against the machine? How come he get the bitch? How come he on Will Smith shit? Like, that's what niggas really saying. Niggas mad about that shit. You understand me now? The niggas that ain't really speaking on it, you know, they good. But these niggas, all these battle rap outlets and letting these, all these weird bloggers come in and talk shit and jump on their team though they jump on their team because they don't want no smoke I, I'll take it <laughs> any smoke they don't want I'll take it just let me know um, but real shit though so I got easy to block captain 2-1 first and second um, got his second verse half of that bitch was trash ass and choppy um, second part of that second was real good Third was, third was excellent. I still don't believe it was hot as the, the media put out, but I understand what he did. What he did was like big time. So I do get that. So, you know, it was a great fight. Hearns, Hagler fight. You understand me? It's going to be a few that got easy winning, man, because 
I don't see it the way niggas be seeing it, man. If I would have seen it, like how, like they seen it, I would have said that. But I ain't see that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't see that at all. But that was a good fight, and I still feel like Easy is the man right now. And I just feel like um, uh, Gotti share the crown. They share that bitch. You feel me? And, and they, I think they should do it two on two. Them niggas so mean. They should be like a team. They should do it two on two. Or they should, like, for real. Because them niggas together. Man, the way they flow. Man, them niggas. Are the dope dealer. The, the, the gang member and the dope dealer, man. Boy, them niggas will be fired together. For real. They need to get together on some shit. Because them niggas together, they'll be bullying through this bitch. You hear me? They'll be bullying through this bitch. Um... Yeah, so great battle. Uh, no place like Chrome. Um, hey, Drama House A Game Entertainment 216, the movement we move with. You dig? <laughs> Come quietly or there will be trouble. Ah, fuck you. I'm back. Yeah, be custom. Shoo shoo. Couldn't talk your way up out of this one, huh? Police say it was just before 11.45 this morning when a male was found unresponsive with one gunshot wound to his chest and right shoulder, where he was later pronounced dead. So what happened to Shoo Shoo? What? <laughs> Got to this point. 